An innocent girl, a revered leader, and next, what makes up our main false devotion? Fleeting kindness, collective now, Rover. The story is yours to spin. I'm eager to hear your version after you've learned more. The story begins here. Once upon a time, in a peaceful village, lived a flock of carefree... In the day, they toiled for food. And when evening fell, fables. Stories told and retold through the ages. The ancient art of conveying hidden truth, but they always draw from real life, don't they? The same story gets told by many. Whatever you learn from it is just one of countless like us now. Caught in a carefully crafted plotline, this village marks the beginning of my story with Jin. So that magistrate led you here to meet me. Ha! <sighs> Such a clever move on her part. One day, a shepherd visited the village. The shepherd brought them promises of abundance and protection. No, quite the opposite. The sh With a wave of his hand, the shepherd could grant their every wish. His flock obeyed, bowing their heads, pleading for better food and shelter. They no longer had to struggle for survival. As there once the flock worshipped their shepherd turned god, praising him and holding him in the highest. What's wrong? Does my s imagine you were one of those lambs, facing irresistible temptation and oh, so we agree already. You are right, but the world we live in falls short of our ideals. The shepherd still reigns, and the lambs have grown. It's up to the two of us to make that ideal world. reveled in endless bonfire parties, celebrating their new god every night. As each night passed, it was the only one to notice how its flock was dwindling away. Rover, do you think someone would give you what you... Mm. <laughs> I once believed that too. Thought as long as I paid a high enough but true equality is scarce. The world was never 
a therapy. To receive equal retribution, one must give more and more and more. When every wish comes with a hefty price, people weigh their options carefully. When they can make someone else bear the price. They all rush to make more wish. Funny, isn't it? the black lamb for the flock's decline. On the next day, the white lambs welcomed the rising sun as usual. The shepherd introduced an unspoken rule to this village. One that our black lamb violated by telling the truth. Suddenly, the once doting god, after witnessing the Black Lamb's actions and hearing from their almighty sh- Ah, those oblivious lambs. Little did they know the most fearsome demon was right under their noses. Now, I wonder, what is your takeaway from this story? Answer me and I'll reveal the truth of what happened. Who was the real culprit behind the diminishing number of lambs? Indeed, the direct culprit was he held all the power, fulfilling wish. Unfortunately, in the face of such temptation, if they were given another chance, I believe inevitably they accepted their fate and paid the price when their time came. Now, my second question. What price did the lambs pay for their wishes? Of course, as always, life was the most valuable thing they had. Here's my final quest. Ah, 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 ah. Don't rush. What is the truth you've uncovered? The shepherd was granting wishes by sacrificing the lives of lambs. The flock never found out about it. They were deceived to believe the- Almost there, Rover. Little lambs cowered and huddled in their village, terrified of the relentless wolf packs. Until a shepherd arrived, bearing the gift of wishes and providing shelter and sustenance. Slowly, the shepherd gained control over the flock, and the lambs lived contented lives. But this is not the end of our story. The shepherd found the solitary black lamb in his flock and offered to grant any wish it desired. In exchange, he wanted one of its companions as a sacrifice. The black lamb refused, and it was shunned by its flock, left without shelter or sustenance. After the black lamb's exile, more lambs continued to vanish. The shepherd then blamed the black lamb for breaking the rules and withheld his wish-granting power as punishment. From the very beginning, the lambs knew the risk of making wishes. 
they too could become sacrifices for those of others. But they always believed it wouldn't be them. Meanwhile, some lambs reasoned that since they had already risked being sacrificed for someone else's wish, it was then only fair to pass on that risk for a chance at fulfilling their own desires. And so they continued to play the game. They all knew the consequences, but chose to remain silent. Fearful, yet greedy, they followed the shepherd's orders and made wishes again and again. Until one day, a brave black lamb spoke up, shattering the flock's facade, their illusion of a peaceful and happy life. my story. What really happened here? I suppose you already have it figured out? The black lamb who rebelled against the rules, and the, the innocent maiden sacrificed, and the they had it coming. All the shepherd had to do was execute the rebel. That's a fun answer, but no. Not even close. I was never the shepherd. Never will be. You and I... We are the Black Lamb. <laughs> Interesting, Rover. <laughs> well then, let's see if this Black Lamb... Welcome to the realm of endless chaos. Now is your time to think, Rover. What is the right path to take? Oh, you found us already. Shake and Sheffer blink an eye. A flock of lambs comes passing by. A face of white, black, and red. Please just watch out, my dear. Your pioneers are lying at your feet. Don't look back. Join them on this right path. And I've got a scorchingly delightful welcome for you up ahead. Uh <laughs> Can't you see? We are to hear your answers. Tell me, do you want to be the rule setting shepherd or the rule breaking new black lab? If a sane person manages to survive in a realm of lunatics, would you call them the last one of reason? Or the soul of Apostle. Think about it. The Shepherd is not the preordained embodiment of truth. Once he is gone for good, the Black Lab can reclaim the trust of its herd. Then, eventually, there will be none left to be victims or oppressors. <laughs> Let the 
clean. Swift and resolute. Shattered Scar's illusion that should have injured him. Oh, should I thank you for showing me mercy? Stay away from him. Didn't you promise to leave me some alone time with Rover? With one condition. I do hope you haven't let that slip from your mind. Don't let your improvisation trouble others. <sighs> Look at you, rushing in to protect your precious... No worries. I know all the do's and don'ts. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Rover, it seems our happy little date must come to an end. But don't forget my sincere reminders. Let me know what you choose. An unexpected gift? An honest and open exchange? Or a highly risky gamble? The choice is yours. We'll meet again in the not too distant future. They're gone. Should we go after them? Oh, don't worry. Scar's resonance abilities appear to involve teleportation and the manipulation of space. He trapped me in confinement, and I could only sense that it was. It took me some time to break that barrier. Sorry, Rover. If only I could have reached you sooner. <laughs> Brother. Huh? Why are you here, little one? I've never seen any tacit discord display such vivid emotions. The brother had mentioned. Could it be? Yes. That is a pos. Let's talk about it later. Rover, can you? It seems all the tragedies in Tea Tree Village were linked to that ritual. Making up stories based on real life to support its twisted beliefs? That does we cannot take his words for granted. Now, we must locate where the ritual took place and see for ourselves. Hmm. What's the matter? Two distinct frequencies of tacit discords. I see. I can feel it in the streams. Over there. Follow me. In the south. They are unharmed. Please rest assured. As you anticipated, Scar did not try to kill them. Yes, I stayed out of it. Is everything all right on your end? Please be sure to stay safe, my lady. <laughs> 